long ER wait times, infection problems, and too few nurses in the hospital. These are just a few of the reasons many of you would rather not have prolapse surgery in a hospital setting. Outpatient vaginal prolapse surgery in a surgery center is a great alternative, and I'll tell you why in this video. I am Jeff McQuarrie, a Tennessee urogynecologist. If your pelvic problems are dominating your life and you want to take back control, solve your problems with solutions from my channel, Women's Healthcare Answers. As a urogynecologist myself, I do many types of surgeries for leaking urine, overactive bladder, vaginal prolapse, and even hysterectomies. Those types of surgeries can be minimally invasive with little impact on your body and can absolutely be done outpatient. That means you're able to go home the same day of surgery. I do about 425 surgeries a year. Now 98% of those are done safely outpatient. But why outpatient surgery? Well, what prompted me to do same day vaginal surgeries is the US Medicare system allowed it. This was in the beginning of 2021. And this is for suspension of fallen vagina or uterus. Previously, this was an overnight stay in the hospital only. Well, outpatient surgery was always typically thought of as for minor surgeries, but now these more major surgeries can be done in this setting. I wanna make sure you know what is available for you and your pelvic floor situation. Well, remember outpatient surgery can be done in a hospital as well, but most often is performed in a special surgery center that is built for outpatient surgery only. And that is where I do the vast majority of my surgeries. Well, please stay till the end to learn what types of surgeries can be done outpatient and why you may or may not be a good candidate. Well, what are the benefits of outpatient surgery? Well, it's a very comfortable, less stress, less hospital-like setting where people are often more friendly and where you will have fewer delays and shorter wait times. The major benefits of a surgery center is that it is much less expensive for you as well, but also for the healthcare system as a whole. Well, because you can go home the same day, this reduces your risk of infection and complications. And you get your pain managed because you manage it and your family can manage it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard patients in the hospital say they asked for their pain meds during the night and got them two to three hours later. That is frustrating for them and me. And without patient surgery, you will have a shorter recovery time, which means you can get back to your normal activities and to work sooner. You may not feel it is a good thing to be able to get back to work sooner, but you'll just feel better and do it much more quickly. But most of you would prefer to recover from surgery in the comfort of your own home anyway. If you've ever stayed in the hospital overnight, you know how loud and chaotic it can be. When I had my knee replacement in the hospital, they were shining the floors at 2 a.m. outside my room. It really makes it difficult to recover when you can't even sleep. I even have patients in their 80s doing very well with same-day surgery. Age alone should not disqualify you. But you may not be a good candidate for outpatient surgery if your surgery requires an overnight stay, I guess that's obvious, or you're needing major bowel surgery, or it's a surgery that typically lasts more than two hours or has an increased risk of blood loss. Surgery centers typically don't have blood banks, so they don't have blood available. You're not a candidate if you have severe heart or lung disease that makes it difficult for you to even walk up a flight of stairs without chest pain or shortness of breath. And also if you've had a recent uh, history of a TIA, which is a mini stroke or a full stroke, especially if you were just put on blood thinners, or you presently need an EKG workup because you've had an abnormal EKG, it's just not time. You have a condition such as mobility issues or another problem and no one to really help you at home. You may not be a good candidate. Also, if your surgery has a high risk of complications, I would recommend you have surgery in a hospital. What are the types of surgeries that can best be done outpatient? Well, many common pelvic procedures uh, that can be done are laparoscopy for treating things like ovarian cyst and endometriosis, uterine scopes called hysteroscopy for bleeding, uh, procedures on your cervix, and even laparoscopic small incision hysterectomies. 
But more advanced procedures urogynecologists like me and urologists can do are bladder slings for incontinence, full pelvic prolapse repairs, and even vaginal hysterectomy can be done without staying overnight in a hospital. A very advanced hysterectomy called V-notes, this stands for Vaginal Natural Orifice Transluminal Endoscopic Surgery. Fancy mnemonic there, but it's a vaginal laparoscopic hysterectomy that is becoming more and more common as gynecologists are learning this procedure all over the world. So if you like this video so far, hit the like button. It really helps with YouTube. And please subscribe because if you miss any of my new medical videos, who am I gonna talk to? Just give me a thumbs up and please comment. Well, the risk of outpatient surgery are associated with the surgery, but the risk of outpatient surgery are generally low. But your surgeon needs to be very experienced in the type of surgery they perform outpatient before it should be done in that type of setting. Otherwise, you should be in the hospital. The most common risks are infection, bleeding, blood clots in your legs, definitely get up and walk after surgery, and complications from anesthesia. So how do you prepare for outpatient surgery? Well, drink plenty of fluids the day before and lighten up on harsh foods. I probably would not eat a steak dinner at Outback the night before. It's just not a good idea. But also don't eat or drink anything after midnight. Shower using antibacterial soaps such as Hibiclins or Dial. Do not apply makeup, cologne, body lotions, or powders. Remove all your jewelry, including body piercing and wedding rings, as well as wigs and hair accessories. Just leave all your valuables at home. But also wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothing and shoes. Wear your hearing aids and bring a case where you can store it. And you may uh, wear dentures, but be prepared to remove them and bring a case for them. You may even bring your CPAP machine if you use one just in case. And medications, take all the medications that morning with a sip of water that they say that you should. Please arrive on time though. Allow time for traffic and parking. It's very important. So my major thoughts on outpatient surgery is outpatient surgery possible for any gynecologic surgery? Absolutely. Is it possible for advanced prolapse repairs to be same day surgeries? Absolutely. So don't avoid surgery just because you're fearful of the hospital. Talk to your doctor about whether outpatient surgery is right for you and what their experience level is with that type of surgery. I think my main thought is to respect your doctor even if they don't do many outpatient surgeries. You want them to do the surgery for you that they do best. On the other hand, your gynecologist may be willing to refer you to another surgeon who can perform these type of surgeries. Hopefully you feel you learned something, and as always, I've enjoyed being here with you. I would love to help solve your problems at Women's Healthcare Answers. Just subscribe and comment, that's all I ask. Remember, this video is meant for information purposes only. Please consult your own healthcare provider, but it's okay to reference the information I give you.